Hey guys, even here. So I have some new information about Sean and uh, his bail originally was $7,500, but his lawyer got it down to $250,000. His arrest warrant is no longer out there since Sean actually went to Utah from his home in California and pled not guilty. So not guilty. That's what he says. He doesn't want to admit the guilt. And after passing both of those lie detector tests and also after finding out that LKH is actually a known fraudster, a person who has a history of frauds, a person whose whole family went to jail because of frauds and was convicted of fraud and so on, right now we have Sean Rodden pleading not guilty. So right now, after his entire life has fallen into the abyss, things are actually moving into positive direction. And when I say positive direction, I don't mean only for Sean Rodin himself as a person, but for bodybuilding as well, for Mr. Olympia, since he is the champion, he is the representative of the sport. And uh, he may have lost the eligibility to compete, but he still owns the title. Until somebody else wins it, he will be the Mr. Olympia champion. So we don't want a rapist to represent the bodybuilding world, the, the, the Mr. Olympia competition. So this right now is a very good information. I mean, a couple of them. So firstly, uh, lie detector tests showing that he is not lying. Also, his bail uh, going down from $750,000 to $250,000. And now him pleading not guilty. So we'll see what happens in the future. Now he's there, you know, he went to Utah. He's not home anymore and uh, things are going to start developing. So you're going to see what happens. We are going to learn more information in the days to come and I'm going to be one of the first YouTubers to upload it. So guys, subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out on new information about this case and uh, many other things that happen in bodybuilding. Whatever happens, I upload it immediately. So once again, guys, subscribe. Also like the video to help me out and uh, all the best. Bye bye.